This is the third part of the top 20 longest of borders in the world. You know it, before you watch, just take a minute and think about what you think are the longest borders in the world. And after watching, you can comment on how many you got right. Okay, let's go! Number 10, United States, Mexico, 3,141 kilometers. Yes, we're finally in North America. The border starts at the Gulf of Mexico at the Las Palomas Wildlife Management Area, close to the Mexican town of Playa, Baghdad, like the capital of Iraq. Okay. The Rio Grande separates Texas from Mexico, and at El Paso and Ciudad Juarez, the Rio Grande continues into the United States. The border continues at a series of straight lines, except for this little piece where it follows the Colorado River, before meeting the Pacific Ocean in Tijuana. I actually crossed this border back in 2017, and visited Tijuana with my husband and our friend Lenny. Number 9. China, India. 3,380 kilometers. Okay, this is a tough one. So many border disputes. We're back in Kashmir, that's divided into these areas. Gilgit Baltistan is claimed by both India and Pakistan, so the border could start either here or there. Shaktan Valley is claimed by both India and China, making the border go south or north of this area. Jammu and Kashmir is also claimed by Pakistan and India, so this border could be between China and India or China and Pakistan. Then we meet Aksai Chin, claimed by India and China. The China-India border after the Shaxkan Valley could continue on either side of Aksai Chin. I'm not sure if I mentioned all the options. Anyway, we're in the Himalayan mountain chain and the border goes in direction southeast. And here are some more border disputes. The border could go here or there and the India border takes a little break when we meet Nepal. Okay, that was Nepal. More border here in the Sikkim region of India. And there's Bhutan. Okay, yes, Arunachal Pradesh. Claimed by both India and China, so the border goes either here or there. It ends in Myanmar. Number 8. Bolivia, Brazil. 3,400 kilometers. I actually just came back from Brazil, but I was nowhere near Bolivia. The border starts at the tripoint border with Paraguay in the Brazilian state of Mato Grosso do Sul in the Paraguay River, that it follows for roughly 50 kilometers. Bolivia is only 8 kilometers wide, right here. The border goes through a number of lagoons, like Laguna Mandiore, Laguna Marfil, and these lagoons I couldn't find the name of. The river Coricho Grande forms the border from here to there. After a series of straight lines through the forests and the Parque Nacional Noel Kemp Mercado, the rivers Otines Oguapore, Mamore, Madeira, and Abuna forms the border from here to there. We are now at the Brazilian state of Acre that shares the name with the river that makes up the border until it meets Peru. Number 7. Russia, and which one is it? Mongolia or China? It's Mongolia! 3,543 kilometers. The border starts at the Tripoint border with China, close to the Malchin Peak, with an elevation of 4,050 meters, that in fact can be climbed without specialized mountain climbing equipment, according to Google. The border is basically all land, with few rivers crossing it, and an elevation at above 1,000 meters most places. There are 10 official border crossings, where two of them are railway crossings, where one of them has passenger traffic. The other eight are highway border crossings, and at five of them, you need citizenship to Russia or Mongolia to cross. The border ends at the Tripoint border with China in a national park. Number six. We stay in Russia, and the other country is China. 3,645 kilometers. The border starts at the Tripoint border with North Korea in the Tumen River, located just a few kilometers before the river streams into the Pacific Ocean. We are close to the town of Kazan, which may be the ending point of a super long road trip you could take from Lisbon, Portugal, spanning almost 14,000 kilometers. Okay, enough about this dream of a road trip. Let's get back to the border. It crosses the Lake Kanka and follows the Songansha River. No wonder this is a long border. Look at how it's twisting and turning. Close to the Russian town of Khabarovsk, the border follows the Amur River until this point, where it starts following the Urgun River. We meet a series of rather straight lines before meeting the tripoint border with Mongolia. This was the eastern part of the border, don't forget the western part. This measures less than 100 kilometers. It goes through the snow-covered Altai Mountains, starting at the border with Mongolia and ending at the border with Kazakhstan. So, only one part to go. Watch the next part for the longest international borders of the world. Bye!